Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a sophomore at Michigan State University. I study BFA acting with minors in entrepreneurship and innovation along with musical theater. And in today's video, I will be showing you all how I bullet journal. In the video, I will be explaining what bullet journaling is and I will be showing you my setup for the month of April. Let's get started. Welcome to my bullet journal. It is a black blank dotted journal, which is the most common style for a bullet journal. You may be wondering, what exactly is a bullet journal? It is a planner, diary, notebook, or whatever it is you like it to be. It is designed to help you accomplish your personal and professional goals. It can be customized to fit your life. You can be as creative or as minimal as you would like it to be. I'll leave a few links down below to YouTubers who go more in depth about how to start your own bullet journaling and what exactly bullet journaling is. Every month, I try to have a different theme. And for the month of April, I have decided to go with clouds. To have a fun play on the April showers will bring May flowers. I also think clouds are very calming and very peaceful, which is something I really want in this month of April. Each month, I strive to write down one thing every day of something I'm grateful for. This is no exception for the month of April. So right next to my title page, I have my April gratitudes, where each day I will write down something positive, which I think is very important during this time of social distancing, to keep a reminder of all the good things that are happening in my life. Next, in my April spread, I have my calendar overview where I keep track of all my due dates, holidays, and special events that may be occurring in the month of April. Up next, I have my trackers along with my monthly goals. I like to have three goals each month that I strive to accomplish by the end. And with my trackers, I track different habits along with my mood and my sleep so that I can understand what it is that's affecting my productivity and things I probably should work on in the future in order to have a healthy, happy life. And in conclusion, I have my weekly spread, where I keep track each week of things I would accomplish each day, and also the events I may have during the week, and the times, where right now, it's just my Zoom classes.
So that concludes my April plan with me. So I'm just doing a quick little flip through of all of the spreads that I have done. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out all the other ones on our channel. Stay safe, stay creative, and have a groovy day. Bye.